I wanted to do a we're camping now in an area that I know quite good. I even uh, forgot to take my map, but uh, as long as I stay in the lake the connection, I know more or less where I am. Uh, first day has been uh, solo. I come with, uh, alone with my with Soya, my dog, and today is uh, Robin joining, and uh, tomorrow. Maybe tonight, during the night, will be uh, Martin from uh, Norwegian Wood as well that will be joining and uh, we might uh, move camp for another location. We'll see with the weather and with uh, what the other guys want to do. Uh, but right now I stayed on a canoe, canoe area, I didn't go deep in the park, I stay in the lake connections, so it's easy for me to go and, uh, and uh, get the guys that will arrive a little bit later. Uh, I wanted to do, uh, because it's quite easy conditions, it's, uh, it's spring now. I wanted to do uh, something new, so I decided to do this uh, one uh, canteen, uh, canteen tool option that a lot of people are, are, are talking about. Uh, I have to say that uh, the weather is so nice that uh, I almost don't need any cutting tool uh, with all the, the things I have. So. I can do fire with just small, uh, <coughs> small branches here, and this is the first time ever because I'm a bit lazy in the morning to do the coffee that I use this uh, this mm. burner. But otherwise, I I've been here for uh, 30 hours now, maybe 25 hours, and I didn't use the cutting tool at all because I didn't need it. Anyway, uh, I've been. Taking this scrama as a unique cutting tool, I really uh, like this uh, this knife. I'm not into uh, big knives at all. I like small knives and I like axe and saw, the, the classic uh, trio for bushcraft. But I wanted to try, see how it is to to pack, see how it is to wear on yourself. See how it is to use to do fire, which I didn't do yet. Uh, <clears throat> and I have to say that uh, the only things I don't like so much with this one is to uh, start the fire here because I don't feel very comfy. Uh, I'm far away from being as comfy than with a, a good small knife. So what I did is that I did a little necklace like this that I can carry on me with both elements that you need to do uh, to do fire. And then I think I solved the only problem I was uh, picturing with this uh, with this knife, which is the lighting the fire. <clears throat> so now I don't have any problem lighting the fire and I have a nice, very nice. Uh, chopping blade, it, it, it's a beast, it's, it's really a nice knife, but what I like especially, and that's why I usually don't like machete and big knives, is you always uh, blade heavy with this machete and knife, and, and when you do small tasks, when you do small tasks, after a while you get tired, but here, the balance point is right here in the middle, when you have the fine uh, grab here and, and this is such a comfort you don't feel the weight of the blade because you can do small uh, small uh, tasks fine tasks here and, and, and you have the same um, uh, the same easiness that you have with a small knife but the blade is long so it's a little bit more dangerous uh, and then when you need to chop, it's 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 a bit it's really a good good chopper. So I, I really really like this knife and I use it a lot uh, at home when I split wood, when I as a tool, when I clean areas with the uh, 
tender, tender wood, uh, especially uh, in area when I'm not stable with the, I'm not uh, stable with the, the footwork uh, that you need to have when you use the axe to swing the axe. You you will use bang bang with one hand holding yourself to to branch or stuff like this. It's, it's really really good enough. I really recommend it. It's it's good steel and it's uh, pretty cheap as well so you really have for your, your money here now I'll take coffee